on your sexy shoes and your knee pads. If you want to know what I'm wearing, check out the description box below. Hi, for today's practice, I want you to give me attitude. Attitude, attitude, attitude. What do I mean by this? Convince me that what you are doing is sexy. I'll give you an example. I'm gonna to touch my nose. This is not sexy, right? But I'm touching my nose. Now I'm gonna convince you that touching my nose is sexy. I can even pick my nose right now and I'll convince you that it's sexy if I'm doing all of that. So sell it to me, sell it to me. I don't care what you are able to put together today, but I want that attitude. And that, my friends, is a secret of exotic, selling it. We begin with a lot of crawling. So I wanted to show you from the front what crawling looks like at the hip. When you come down into your crawl, you wanna make sure that your hip drops as low to the ground as possible. Really try to drop that hip each time you crawl and come down. Let me show you from the side and I want you to practice. Boom, boom, drop your hips as much as you can. That is what we're going for as we crawl. Let's take it from the beginning. We start with a crawl, and I want you to explore what's happening at your shoulders. I want you to imagine you are a sexy leopard in the wilderness and you're crawling. Crawl, crawl, crawl. Sell it to me. Remember, we talked about attitude and how to make things look better. You just got to buy into it and really sell it to your viewer. Next, we are dropping onto the right side of our hip. I'm your mirror here, okay? I'm your mirror, right side of the hip. And now you face away from the audience as you lay back and you come into this shoulder stand. I'm gonna show you really quick from the side what this looks like. Many of you are familiar with this from yoga. You wanna push into your hands and arms and really shoot your hips up to the sky. And then you wanna catch your lower back, almost like your tailbone area, into your hands and really keep your elbows in. Do not let your hips sink like this. You really wanna shoot those hips up and catch where your low back is and keep those elbows tucked in and push into those arms to help support your legs. You should not be collapsing in the neck. The neck should be free and nice and long. And you will be crossing your legs. I like to have the left leg in the back. Cross the legs with the left leg in the back. And here we are. This is the audience view. Left leg in the back. We're gonna be creating a clock-like motion with that back leg. One o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, all the way back to midnight. Now, the trick here is to really use the hips. Turn the hips to the opposite direction as the leg goes to the right, and then to the opposite direction as the leg goes up to the left. When you use your hips, you create more an illusion, of more of an illusion of movement. Look what happens when I don't use the hip. Looks quite stiff, right? When I add the hip, let's watch what happens. Boom, I kind of create this false illusion of having greater range of motion throughout that leg. Internal rotation, external rotation. Turn and use your hips, they will help you. Are you getting value out of this? Give me some feedback, give me a like, give me a little comment. Let me know you're with me right now. I love to hear from people. I've already heard from so many people from all over the world already and it's really moving me, I really like it. Let me know you're with me. Show me some love right now, hit that like button. Let's get back. Let's take it from the top and we're gonna just crawl to our little area and really sell it to yourself here. Look at yourself in the mirror. Don't look at me right now, look at yourself in the mirror. Crawl, crawl, crawl. And when you're ready to go into your little position, send the right hip all the way to the side and bring both feet together to your butt. As you lay back, bring your knees to your chest and now crisscross your legs as you shoot them up into that position. Left leg behind begins our clock. Now the right leg is just gonna follow, guys. You learn the left leg, the right leg is simply gonna follow. Let's practice a few times and reset. Reset, clock, clock. Reset, clock, clock, reset, clock, clock. Let's try to start using the hip. Reset, and clock, clock. Nice, okay. Now that we're using the hip, it's gonna start looking a little bit better. Yeah, after a couple times, you think you're ready, then we can move on. The next step is to bend the knees and extend the legs behind you. You want to whip it, okay? Especially if you don't if you don't have the flexibility. You want to whip it and hit the floor. Boom. And boom. And 
whack and whack and whack and whack and go crazy here. I really want you to experience what this feels like. Next, you're going to be putting your hands out to the side for support as you turn your butt and hips to the right, bringing your knees to your chest. And now we're going to be dragging our heels across the floor and whipping our head back as we open our chest and come up. Boom. Trying to keep the chest open. I really struggle with this myself, ladies and gentlemen. So just do your best here. Really try to look behind you and whip it. Bringing our legs together. I'm going to just move so you can see me. Bringing our legs together to face our audience. We will be swooshing the top leg forward. We've done this before. This should look a little familiar. We're going to then swoosh the leg back and bring our feet together underneath us. Push into our hands and lift our hips. Our chest and belly are going to come to the ground. Make sure you keep your feet close to your booty and our chest and belly are going to come down. And as we come up, we're going to bring our right leg forward. You'll see. But before we go there, I want you to just practice going back and forth here. So you know what this belly position feels like. Go back and forth a couple times. Let me show you from the side what's happening. All I'm doing is rolling onto my side and to the other side trying to keep my knees bent and my heels close to my butt let's take it from our shoulder balance position with our ankles crossed clock clock and then we're gonna whip it and boom now we're gonna bring our legs together turn the hips to the right slinky slinky down and shoot those legs out as we reach arch back and bring our legs together turn our legs to the left Knees together and that top right leg is going to swoosh forward and back around. Keep the feet together as you melt onto your belly and now look what happens. Your left leg is now your front leg and your right leg is shooting back and you're kind of coming into this semi wannabe split position. Try to reach both legs opposite from each other and maybe you want to swing the arm back and look at it or maybe you want to touch the face here. Anything that you want to do that feels natural, go for it, okay? Remember, just sell it. All right, let's get that practice in. We know that that's key for everything. Keep those legs separate at the end. All right, let's take it from our coming up position. So we drop the legs to the left, right? Our top leg is going to come forward first. Try to get creepy here. Swing it back and then bring your legs together. Lift your hips and swoosh them around to the other side. Get ready to go onto your belly. And almost as if you're ready to do a push-up. Boom. And rotate over. Now bring the left leg forward and the right leg back as you sit up. And go for your little touch here, your little artistic touch, whether you want to reach the arm back, touch your face, touch your leg, whatever is your style. Let's go back and let's take it from the top because practice, practice, practice. And we're going to do our crawly, crawly, crawly. When we're ready and we're where we want to be, we sit to the side with our legs together, melt back, shoot the legs up, clock, clock, and whack, and turn and down push out and up knees together slide forward and back swoosh around and melt into your belly and fake split with a little accent if you like and add your own ending yes i'm just gonna shut up now and we're gonna do it without talking just music Let's go. I'll still do this a little bit slow motion, not not too too fast so you can follow. Your homework is to add something to this of your own, at least five seconds. Also, check out my other tutorials. Maybe you can combine some of the other elements we've learned together and make an even longer piece. Hello, longer pieces. 
Don't forget to subscribe for weekly tips and tutorials for pole dancing with no dance background. Mwah!